In my opinion, it's hard to give new peers a consistently good experience when joining a team. There are just so many resources one needs to give access to, and it's hard to get it right from the start, which can really take a toll on a person's productivity. Ergo, I wanted to share how to use a Google Form and a bit of logic in the Forms response sheet to help automate this usually manual task. Welcome to the Sheets to App Show, where we talk about how to tame these tabular beasts into productive applications. In this episode, I will cover how to give newcomers access to resources via a Google Form and an app script that lives in a Google Sheet. And let me tell you, friends, using a Google group as part of your onboarding strategy is helpful since you can share multiple resources like Google Calendars, Team Drives and Files, training videos, or a departmental Google site all at once by adding a user to that group, and then have all those resources be shared with that Google group's email address. And as a bonus, any emails that are sent to that group can also serve as an archive of past questions and answers, which also preserves team knowledge over time. Once a Google group is set up, you or a team member that has manager rights to add members to that group can copy the spreadsheet app from the G Suite Solution Gallery, which is linked in the description. Upon making a copy, the sheet will include a script and a form. The form can be shared as a link on your team's onboarding page or in a Google Doc, and can be filled in by anyone on your team to give access to new hires upon clicking Submit, since the script runs with the level of permissions of the person who made the copy. Ergo, it's important for that person to have manager or owner rights to that group in order for new members to be inserted. Every new submission will send an email to the new hire confirming they were added, or it will send them an email that they were already added if they are part of the group. If you work within a larger team and wish to monitor who's helping new hires get access, you can add a field to the form to collect the email address of the requester. And as a member moves off the team, you can always remove that user from the Google group via the group's interface. And this will revoke their access to assets shared to that group. Now let me dive into the script a bit more. At the top, you set the two subject lines and the two links to the Google Doc templates you would like the emails to be formatted as. One email is to help the user know that they have been added. And you can add the list of resources you would like them to review from the comfort of their inbox. And if someone already kindly added this person to the team's group, the second email template lets them know. The script checks who is a member of the group thanks to the Google Groups service. And in order to use this service, you do need to be working in a G Suite account since it requires enabling the admin directory API, which is already done for you in the script. And although you do not need to be an admin to use this specific sheet app, I do recommend you share with your G Suite admin to check out more information on the admin directory API, which is also linked in this video since it can help them manage operations on more than just groups, but on specific user accounts, organizational units, and even devices within G Suite. One final comment is that every form submission kicks off the logic to check if a user is a member, then adds them and sends them an email automatically thanks to the on form submit trigger that you set up from the scripts dropdown and accept permissions to let the app run as you. And there you have it, an onboarding tool you can use to give access to new hires using a Google form, a sheet, and an app script. If you found this episode helpful, community, please click like and subscribe to the channel to receive future episodes. Cheers.